What's going on everybody? Um, so today we're gonna show you kind of something I made. Um, I made it a long time ago and I thought they were gonna sell like crazy, but uh, maybe I was charging too much for them, I'm not sure. But my daughter's friend wanted one for her uncle for his birthday and I kind of messed it up. So we're gonna kind of show you how we fixed that. It was dad's idea. Um, so this is it right here. It's a, it's a hunting gear sign and these are spent shotgun shells. Can you see that, Dad? Yeah, that looks really cool. Yeah, these are just spent shotgun shells that I attached, and we'll show you how I did that. I got some marks on it and stuff, but it's just for my room, so I really don't care. Um, yeah. Yeah. So, so that's what that's what you were trying to replicate with the the new one that you did yeah and and then there ended up being a little bit of an issue and that's what we're going to go into how we kind of fixed it right right because i uh it had been a while since i made one of these and i wasn't paying attention i used the wrong bit to drill the the holes for the dowels and the shotgun shells so it was either redo the whole thing or find some way to fix it and i think it actually looks better the way uh the way dad suggested so we'll show that to you guys here in a second okay guys so um if you go watch video 287 we did a repair on this sign that we had some issues with but this is this is kind of the same kind of video where there's a something that we made that ryan made and we're trying to kind of fix it. We're trying to keep that screen from going black. Sorry. I think I'm zoomed in as far as I can go. But the, anyway, that's video 287 and I think that'll be valuable for you. It's just this is the same kind of video. So now I'm going to walk around and uh, I've got to unzoom. Vicky is uh unavailable for filming as yeah. of right now. She's so. making food. She's in the kitchen. She tried to get out and we said no. Get Take back. your shoes off and get back in the kitchen. <laughs> she won't see this till after it's posted, yeah, fortunately. So she'll be back in Arizona, so I'm safe. <laughs> so uh, that hunting gear sign that I just showed you guys, this is the one I made for my daughter's friend. And so basically the first thing I did was I figured out how many uh, shotgun shells I wanted in there. I marked them, I drilled the holes, and then I carved the sign and finish it and all that. So I put the shotgun shells in last. But the problem is I grabbed the wrong bit to drill the uh, the inserts for them. So do you want to zoom yeah, this? Yeah, let me, let Probably me want go to on the other this. side and make sure that we're getting good video of that. Uh, I got to tilt the camera. Guys, this isn't my normal thing, so hopefully you're... Dad, I think you're one of us is going to have to stay behind the camera. All right, well then, yeah. I'll, you know, I'll just, you know, we'll both have conversations, but yeah. So go ahead, Ryan. Okay, so um, this is just a standard 12-gauge shotgun shell that I, I pheasant hunt with. And so I put a dowel in it, and I'll show you guys how I do that in a minute. But the problem is the, the bit I normally use, it's really tight. So I can just put some glue in there and pop this thing in and put a screw in from the back. But I used a size bigger bit. So now there's a big ugly gap around that thing. Right. So I didn't like it and I, I talked to dad about it and it was either find a solution or completely redo the sign. So dad came up with an idea that I think worked really well. We went and got... Um, some washers and the ones we found that worked the best didn't quite fit so I actually took a, um, a Dremel and I ground down so now they fit just about perfect so what we're gonna do is we're gonna set these in and and have the washers right there can you see that dad yeah I can yeah okay I hope yeah so we'll do that and you know you guys will get to see the finished product but i think it actually looks better like that yeah i think it looks pretty cool so um yeah so this kind of just gives you guys an idea 
that sometimes you just need a fresh pair of eyes to look at something to, to see if you can come up with a solution rather than starting from scratch. Right. And actually, I think we came up with a solution that's going to enhance the look of the sign. Yeah. In yeah. my opinion. Just like the that, what is it, video 287? Yeah. The solution you came up with made it look better. Gave the, it the gear look. thing. Yeah. So we were able to fix what we did wrong and actually make it better. Right. Yeah. Right. So it took extra time, but that's all right. Yeah. So um, go ahead and... Uh, if you would, yeah, show us the dowel thing. So what I did, when I first came up with the idea, I took a shotgun shell, a spent one, to Lowe's to find a, or I think Ace actually, to find a dowel, and this thing fits in there perfect, but it's super tight. So to get it in there, and I've split a couple casings doing this, but you just wanna give it nice and light, And it's on there tight. So you oh, don't yeah. need any adhesive or anything like that. This thing, you couldn't pull this thing off with a tow truck. So then from there, I'm going to cut it. You want to just go ahead and do that, Dad? Yeah, just go ahead and do it. I'll swing around. I don't know how much I'll be able to zoom in. So you're just, uh, again, guys, this is the way we do it. So if you have a safer way to do it, I guess if you had a bandsaw, that might be a little bit safer than using a... A chop saw. Go ahead. Probably. But oh, there you go. Now you have a fully full shotgun shell. Right. Okay. So now, oh, I gotta get the screws. And So then what I do from here, I tried just gluing them, but found out that that just, it doesn't hold them. You know, if you're putting a, a camo sweatshirt like I have, you need something with some um, stability. Stability, there yeah. you go. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna throw some glue in here. Sorry for the zoom in, guys. We're not on the regular camera. We're doing this with the phone. Yeah. And um, obviously the amateur is behind the camera. And in front. And Vicky is uh, inside. Okay. And then we're going to take some Starbond to adhere the, uh, what do you call it, the washer? Yeah. Which I guess I should have done before I put that thing in there, but yeah, what are you going to do? So you can put it on the wood, too. Yeah. Because even if it if it squeezes out a little bit, it's sandable. I hope. Yeah, me too. Well, well I don't think... You don't it... need much. So after this, you're just going to let it set anyway, because we don't have the accelerator. You're just going to let it set. Perfect. Perfect. So then after everything sets up, that's when you go back and you put a screw from the back side? No, I usually put the screw in to begin with. Oh, one thing I forgot. To, actually, I didn't do in this one. Wait, did I do in this one? What? I usually drill a pilot hole. Well, it, it kind of has a hole from the back, but you can do that afterwards. Yeah. So yeah. I, for me, I would just let this set for a few hours till that glue sets up. Actually, and then you can put the screw in at any point. That makes sense, right? yeah. Yeah, yeah, we'll do that. Now, one thing I did want to show is when we bought these washers, they were um, they were kind of marked up because they were just in a bin. And I'm not sure whether this is going to show or not. But what we did, just to give them kind of a, a cool look, we actually put them on the sander, on the belt sander, and kind of sanded them down and give them kind of a shiny look, like a brushed, brushed aluminum, aluminum type kind look. of look. So then they were, they're going to be consistent all the way through. It was just kind of, you know, you, you might, uh, you know, you might, if you don't like the shiny look, you might paint them black. Yeah, you know, You, you could do whatever you want with them. You could paint them a different color. Let's say you wanted to paint the letters uh, a color, you know, that was, uh, you know, hunter orange or something. And yeah. you could paint the 
the washers, I'm just throwing that out there. I'm just winging it now, but you could paint them a, a matching color. Oh. Blue bottle in the oh, way. Sorry. Now we're just going to do the same thing. But anyway, I think you guys get the idea. I don't think we have to go into it like, you know, completely do the whole thing. You guys can get the idea of what we're doing. Yeah. And it, it really is a cool looking, you know, you know, um, coat rack for an outdoorsman or it could be fishing gear or what, I mean, whatever you want to do. Yeah. But, um, I think it's pretty cool. It didn't sell very well for me, but I also live in California and, uh, <laughs> I think less than 1% of California hunts. So, you know, maybe if you're in Texas or something, this would sell a lot more. I don't yeah. know. Who knows? Sorry about the zoom in and out, guys. So the sander that we used to, to sand those things off was just the little uh, belt uh, disc combo over there. We didn't use the disc. We used the, the belt part of it. Just uh, you got to be careful with it to keep your fingerprints. But other than that, you know. Or... If you don't want your fingerprints for some reason, well, there's an idea for yeah, you. There you go. See? Now we're getting into different kinds That's of content. Right. DIY, everybody. <laughs> so anyway, I think that is, uh, that's pretty much it. Yeah. Yeah, that works good. So I'm going to come around. We'll shut this thing down. And that will be it. All right, guys. Hopefully right. I'm on camera. I can't tell because we can't see it, but uh, that's it. So, again, this just gives you guys an idea. If you are if you run into an issue like this, maybe run it past somebody else. Maybe another sign carver. Maybe your spouse. Throw it past me. Maybe I can come up with some ideas of what you could do differently. Again, I've heard this said. Sorry, the neighbor was mowing the lawn. Um I've heard this said many times, a great woodworker is not necessarily that makes something great right off the bat, but they're able to, when they make a mistake, be able to adjust it and figure a way around it. And that's, I don't know, that's kind of one of the neat things that I love. Yeah. Because when I screw up, I like to be able to say, hey, I fixed it, I figured out a way, right. rather than just throwing it away and starting and over. so far, the two biggest ones that we've done have turned out better because of the mistakes. Yeah, that's so, true. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of nice. So anyway, guys, that's it. Thanks so much for watching. We love you. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, we'd love for you to subscribe. And don't forget, this guy's got uh, another business. Go ahead. What is it again? Uh, personal Defense Systems. You can find me on Instagram, uh, Facebook. I don't have a website, but uh, it's personal underscore defense underscore systems uh, on Instagram and just personal defense system on Facebook. If you're into guns, shooting, um, tips, anything like that, then check it out. Yep. All right, guys. Thanks again, and we'll see you on the next video. We love All you. Right. Bye. Bye.